Welcome to a short how-to video that will cover a basic application setup of the Pulse Pro lighting function from Banner Engineering. In this example, we will be using a WLS15 Pro strip light and a Q4X laser measurement sensor with a pulse frequency modulated output to show how to physically connect your PFM or PWM output device to a Pulse Pro enabled light. In addition to the light and sensor, you will need a 24 volt DC power source, a parallel wired splitter cable, and the Pro Editor cable kit. To begin, configure the light for a Pulse Pro compatible animation mode using the free Pro Editor software. If you need assistance with this step, check out our Pro Strip Light Distance Mode video for a PFM programming example. Once the light is configured, connect it to one branch of the splitter cable. Connect the other branch to the Q4X sensor and connect the trunk to the power supply. The next step is to set the Q4X to provide a PFM signal to its channel 2 output. Press and hold the plus or channel select button for 2 seconds. Press either the plus or minus button until the display shows channel 2 and press the select button. The display will flash to confirm the channel selection and return to run mode. Next, press and hold the minus or mode button for two seconds. The display should say out two. Press the select button and then use the plus or minus buttons to scroll through the output options until you see pulse. Press the select button again. The display will flash and return to the menu. Scroll through the menu until you see end and press the select button one last time. The Q4X is now configured to provide a 100 to 600 Hz PFM output via pin 2 or the white wire, with 100 Hz reflecting the nearest measurement and 600 Hz reflecting the farthest measurement as defined by the Q4X model's range. That covers the basics for setting up a Pulse Pro application. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.